plate tectonic theory is one theory that is asked mostly in the mains in the prelims it is very rare however based on the plate tectonic theory you can understand the climates of the world past climate of india for example india once upon a time india was in the south pole like just like how antarctica today antarctica is completely filled with ice right like india also once upon, once upon a time completely filled with ice but the plates are moving at that time india was near south pole now india crossed the equator at some point of time india was on the equator also now it is here after some 10 billion years india may go to north pole we never know where india will go so any concept in geography how the climates are changing how in the last 3.5 billion years how different land masses are changing how volcanoes are coming how earthquakes are occurring why the coast of south america coast of africa why they are almost uh, why they can be joined together you observe they can fit into each other so all these things can be explained using plate tectonic theory okay but before understanding plate tectonic theory you should understand what is a plate i told in the last class that if you take for example the center of the earth from center of the earth take certain part of the earth center to surface of the earth i told you that crust first part is crust of course crust can be divided into of course crust can be divided into upper crust lower crust but overall it's crust and crust is made up of light weight material low density material silica and aluminium after that you have upper mantle till here upper mantle then you have lower mantle till here then you have upper core then lower core or maybe outer core outer core inner core are the different layers of the earth which you discussed in the last class now in this upper mantle somewhere here there is liquid it's not liquid friend it's semi liquid that is semi liquid not exactly liquid it is like the molten rock which is highly viscous which is between solid liquid can be you can call semi solid semi liquid that is why s waves can travel through them for example i told you in last class that p waves can travel throughout the earth but s waves can travel only through the solids but nobody at that time asked me a doubt i thought some of you may ask me a doubt sir okay outer core is a liquid that is okay but there is one more layer called asthenos what is this i thought that somebody will ask me sir asthenos is also a liquid layer no then how s waves which are starting from here let us say earthquake occurred here let us say this is the focus focus point how can s waves cross this first of all it can cross because asthenosphere is not a pure liquid layer it is a semi semi liquid okay now so friends what is a plate plate is nothing but see from here to here is called plate plate is entire crust plus some part of the mantle till asthenosphere from surface of the earth till asthenosphere called as a plate plate now i told you in last class that if you take earth the surface of the earth is made up of plates one plate another plate plates that means the surface of the earth is not a single layer like an onion i told you, you know onion we can take a single layer first layer again single layer earth top layer crust of the earth is not a single layer it is several pieces kept closely together that's all okay now how do you define a plate you can write down plate is a thick <coughs> plate is a thick <coughs> thick lithospheric slab thick lithospheric slab consisting of the crust and some portion of the upper mantle consisting of the crust crust and some portion of the upper mantle <coughs> lithosphere in uh, for example you, when you study about the land water air and life land lithosphere water is hydrosphere life is biosphere air is atmosphere 
so we'll study about that so in that lithosphere they say lithosphere no at that time when they say lithosphere they don't mean all these things lithosphere means land that's all the term is different here lithosphere means entire crust plus some part of the mantle till isosphere we call it as a plate so under the plates what is under the plate? what is there what is this under the plates isosphere is there and isosphere has molten rock see if it is a solid rock no solid rock it will not move but a molten rock no it keeps on moving it's very hot also why exactly at this depth at a depth of maybe see actually this depth is not same depth will change at some place 100 kilometers at some place 150 kilometers at some place 200 kilometers maximum 200 at that depth why liquid layer is there i told you the reason at that depth there are there there are radioactive material which will disintegrate continuously radioactive disintegration releases a lot of heat and energy continuously because of that rocks in that particular area will melt will melt means they melt rocks melt okay that is why because of radioactive disintegration at this depth you have got hot liquid molten rock now friends the temperature is not uniform for example you take entire atmosphere here temperature may be 1000 degrees here 1100 degrees here 1200 degrees so temperature is not uniform tell me if temperature is same throughout the layer will the um, uh, liquid move or does not move it will not move when the water also have same temperature it does not move but when different parts of the water has different temperature it will move why it will move to transfer the heat hot water will move towards the cold one cold one come towards the hot so transfer of the heat by the movement of molecules is called as convection conduction means close contact two bodies heat will transfer but there is no movement of molecules radiation means waves through waves so so what is convection convection is transfer of heat through movement of Mole some molecules it can be air what doesn't matter it's movement of molecules so don't tell me will this isosphere is it fixed or keeps on moving moving sir. keeps on moving it constantly moves now you take some water you put boats on the water boat boat paper boat kathi boat you put on the water okay now let us say water is still will the boats move will not move but water is moving boats move similarly the isosphere will keep on moving because of convection we call it as convective currents we call it as convective because of convective current convective current is nothing but the movement of the atmosphere molten uh, rock because of exchange of the heat because of that movement obviously the plates will also move now the the direction of the movement of the plate is depends on direction of movement of molten rock atmosphere that's all so what happens for example let us say in this area let us say the liquid is moving in this direction let us say then obviously this plate will move like this this plate moves like this let us say in this area uh, here the hot magma is there let us say the atmosphere is moving like this the the magma is coming and moving like this atmosphere then this plate will move in this direction this plate now when these two plates are moving away from each other we call them as very good divergent plates when you take two plates if two plates are moving away from each other you call them as friends do you know why divergent plates are also called as constructive plates anybody knows why yes because see when the plates are going away under the plates what is there that will come up no when plates are close to each other magma cannot come up but when plates are moving away magma will come up no, obviously so when magma comes up now that magma will be attached to the plate see attached on this side attached on this side also so the length of the plate is increasing or decreasing increasing actually this is the length of the plate but when magma is added see magma may be liquid under the earth when it comes above the earth it will become solid for example just like inside the fridge water is cool when, it, when take the fridge uh, water outside the fridge it will become 
warm. Like that, magma will be hot inside the earth. When it comes out, it will cool down. Once it cools down, it will stick like a solid rock to the plate. So, length of the plate is increasing. That's why it is constructing. Construction means uh, newly forming, newly added things, construction. That's why divergent plates are called constructive plates because the magma coming from isosphere will be attached to the tail of the plate and increase the length of the plate. Length of the plate also some of the magma will be thrown up like this like mountains. Some of the magma forms like mountain. The, the magma will go up. It depends, depends upon the type of magma. For example, anybody here is a student of chemistry. Do you know acidic matter and basic matter? Which, for example, I will take as acidic lava, basic lava. Which one will be more viscous? Which one will be less viscous? Less viscous means it can flow very freely. More viscous means it cannot flow. Tell me. Acidic lava is? More viscous. More viscous. Basic lava is less viscous. For example, in this area, if the lava is acidic, then the lava, very thick lava, it comes up, forms like a mountain. But if it is a basic lava, low viscosity, after coming up, it cannot form a mountain. It will spread like a water. Can water go and stand like this? No. Spread. So, it depends on the type of magma. Type of uh, inside is called magma. After coming out, it is called as lava. Okay. So, constructive plates are nothing but plates which are moving away from each other. Now tell me, most of this geomorphological phenomena, does it occur, for example, this is a plate, this is a plate, they are moving away. Most of the geomorphological phenomena, do they occur in the plate margins or in between the plate? Plate margins. That's why in geomorphology, we always study plate margin. We never study what is inside the plate. That is not the point of discussion at all, only plate margins. So this topic is also called as plate boundaries or plate margins. Take a question. Discuss different types of plate margins. Discuss different types of plate margins and their associated <coughs> geomorphological phenomena. And their associated geomorphological phenomena. <coughs> After the class is over, you can write this answer because I still did not discuss the complete answer. I discussed only one type of margin. I have to come to other margins, okay? Now, <coughs> so we discussed about the divergent uh, plates. Now, let us look at this one. Here, these plates are called as convergent, convergent plates. Convergent plates. See, friends, let us say this plate is heavy weight plate, heavy weight. Let us say this plate is lightweight when two plates collide with each other for example a lorry is coming a cycle is coming both are coming very fast which will jump up cycle, cycle. cycle. general lorry is not jump up okay let's say car is coming car and lorry which will jump up car lightweights generally go up heavy weight will go down generally similarly this is let's say both plates are coming towards each other light plate see it will rise up heavy plate will go down heavy plate will go down into the asthenosphere so you can write down during the collision of plates it's called collision collision see it's called collision of plates you can call it as a convergent plates converging converging plates or convergent plates Friends, the convergent plates are also called as plates colliding. They collide. Colliding means they will not come from here and collide like this. They will be there only. Slowly, they compress among themselves. Okay. Now, when the collision occurs, the lightweight plate, the lightweight plate rises up. The heavyweight plate goes down into eighth atmosphere. Now, tell me, let us say length of the plate is from this point A to point B length of the plate. I have intentionally done that. Okay. This is a point B. This is the lightweight plate. Oh, see, actual length is A to B. But this part of the plate is there, no? It went into what? Went into? Atmosphere. So it will 
melt. When it melts, no, length of the plate will reduce. Now the plate length is still here only. This is the new end of the plate. This entire plate is? Melted. The entire plate gets melted in the ice snow sphere. Now tell me, when the plates are converging, is the length of the plate increasing or decreasing? decreasing. So you call it as constructive plates, destructive plates? Destructive. destructive. That's why convergent plates are also called as destructive plate margin. Destructive. Because length of the plate is decreasing. Their length of the plate is? In the, in the divergent plate, length of the plate is increasing. Here yeah, decreasing. Now, so okay, the heavy plate is coming down. Actually, this the we use the word subduction. The coming down is called subduction. Heavy plate undergoes subduction. Lightweight plate folds. I'll tell you. First of all, heavy plate is undergoing subduction. The lightweight plate, friends, see the, the plate means not a, uh, the plate which you eat the food. Very heavy, almost 200 kilometers thick plate. When the lightweight plate is going up, no? See, it is compressing. Because of compression, this is going up. So it will not go up in normal state. It will get folded. It will get folded. For example, take two papers, try to collate them. The paper which is rising up, no? It will fold. It will fold like that. One plate will go down, heavy plate. The lightweight plate is, see, here, see, it folds and rises up. When rising up, it will fold. Fold. So the lightweight, the lightweight plate forms into folded mountains. These are folded mountains. Example, Himalayas. Himalayas are mountains, folded mountains, formed because of convergent of I will tell you which plates now okay <coughs> by the way this zone the zone the zone where one plate subducts another plate rises the zone is called Benioff zone Benioff is called Benioff zone <coughs> now <coughs> What do you want the spelling of any of John? I also don't know. That's why I won't next one. But I think it is B E N E. May B E N I also. Okay, Benny of John. See in exam also we have exact spelling. You see, Benny of John. They understand. Evaluators also. See when you read something very fast, no, you always see the first term, last last word. You will not read entire word. For example, see Benny of John. That's all. Like this you can read. Okay. Any of friends? So. Benioff zone I have done. Now oh, I want to. Okay. <laughs> okay. Friends, now the example of Himalayas, example of volcanic mountains, I'll keep it for later. All examples I'll tell at once. First, let me finish different types of plate margins. One is divergent plate margins, other is convergent plate. The third one is neither convergence nor divergence, but see transverse. Transverse. So one plate, friends, I am drawing earth like this, but actually earth is a sphere, earth is a sphere, maybe because I am drawing circle, you may think, sir, if two plates are there, how can that plate go that side, this plate come this side, it is a sphere, no, in a sphere, two plates are there, they can move like this also, in a sphere, okay, that is called transverse margin, so transverse margin means two plates, two plates, moving in opposite directions. It's called transverse margin. <coughs> okay, these are the three possible, three possible plate margins. Now let us first discuss what are the various important plates. On the surface of the earth there are several plates, but seven plates are major plates, seven major some uh, almost 22 minor plates are there, but minor plates in order to study for this examination, they will not ask you. Major plates study, major plates, okay. To understand the major plates, let me draw the world map. See, always start with Africa, Saudi Arabia, India, Europe. 
ஆஸ்திரேலியா நியூசிலாந்து நியூசிலாந்து இந்தோனேஷியா ஜப்பான் சவுத் கொரியா பிலிப்பைன்ஸ் சவுத் அமெரிக்கா அலாஸ்கா இன் நார்த் அமெரிக்கா சென்ட்ரல் அமெரிக்கா கிரீன்லேண்ட் ஐஸ்லேண்ட் ஐஸ்லேண்ட் ஓகே ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் நவ் ப்ரீவியஸ்லி ஹவ் ட்ரான் த அர்த் ஃப்ரம் இன்சைட் நோ ஐம் ட்ராயிங் ஓன் சர்ஃபேஸ் ஆஃப் த அர்த் தி சர்ஃபேஸ் ஆஃப் த அர்த் ஆக்சுவலி இட்ஸ் லைக் ஸ்வியர் அர்த் இஸ் ஸ்வியர் பட் ஆன் த போர்ட் ஐம் ட்ராயிங் லைக் எ பிளேன் நோ ஹியர் த என்டையர் அர்த் இஸ் டிவைட் டு பிளேட்ஸ் நோ லெட் மீ டெல் யூ சம் ஆஃப் த இம்பார்ட்டன் பிளேட்ஸ் see one plate is the south american plate south america means the plate will not be exactly the border of south america friend plate is a very thick one 200 km whether it is a land or ocean depends upon the top 10 km you understood if you take the earth if you take a plate see this is a plate let's south america plate whether it is a land or ocean if it is a land here it is a land if it is ocean also till here ocean the land the ocean land is only up 10 km and after 10 km whether ocean or land same only the plate is 200 km thick in the 200 km top 10 km maybe water or land doesn't matter when you discuss about the plate you know to think about the top 10 km okay so south american plate is like this south american plate consists of south american continent land some part of atlantic ocean some part of pacific ocean but actually pacific ocean is not uh, till here see it's still here it's very close and pacific ocean is very close atlantic ocean some more ocean is there pacific ocean or some ocean is there little ocean okay south american plate is important plate then north american plate see north american this one plate african plate it's also very important african plate it like here like till here see more atlantic ocean is there means the plate consists of some land and some ocean there is no plate which is purely ocean plate purely land plate is not possible okay then this is called see up to here is europe this is asia right so eurasian plate friends the boundaries which i am drawing are not exact boundaries plate cannot be exact square it will be some opposite downs will be there but for simplicity you will draw like this for example crust mantle core are not exact spheres crust mantle core but we'll draw like there for simplicity that's all don't worry they'll give marks okay this is eurasian plate eurasia then you have uh, indo australian plate see so in the australian plate new zealand separate plate small plate but don't bother about that small plates don't discuss indo australian plates then antarctica plate which is here see antarctica plate in this map did i forget anything i covered entire entire earth in the entire earth which one i left pacific ocean which is 70% what i have done is on 30% percent here so you have to go behind the back but don't come with me this time see now from here to here behind the board pacific ocean is there the entire pacific ocean single plate now tell me what is the largest plate on the earth pacific, pacific plate. plate so pacific plate starts from here it goes from here it will come till here so if you want draw pacific plate if anybody want draw pacific plate you draw like this see south america north america australia indonesia now this is pacific plate see friends this is the biggest pacific plate in the pacific ocean pacific, pacific ocean means inside that lot of islands are there pacific ocean has the largest number of islands in the world lot of countries are there many countries are there in the pacific ocean example fiji fiji is a size of vijayawada it's a country but they won more olympic medals than india but generally it's a very small country okay friends see so pacific plate tell me how many plates i covered north american south american african eurasian indo australian atlantic and pacific that's all seven major plates there are 22 minor plates small small plates new zealand plate azaska plate 
yeah, some uh, small plate here and there, island plate, Hawaii plate, Hawaii plate. Small plates are there, but you know to study them. Okay, now as we have discussed about the conversion plates, diversion plates, transverse plates, let us discuss that concept in here. Where do you find the conversion plates? For example, the Indian plate and Eurasian plate. Eurasian Indian plate, they are converging plates. Eurasian plate moves in this direction. General does not move very slow does not move but Indian plate moves very fast Indian plates moves very fast and which one is I will tell you a simple thumb rule any plate having more ocean is heavy because under the ocean not because of water under the ocean water basalt will be there basalt which is very heavy basalt under the land granite will be there granite granite is not heavy under land granite under ocean basalt will be there basalt is very heavy compared to granite that is the reason why any plate having more ocean will be heavy. Now, Eurasian plate has almost entire land, but indo ocean plate has lot of sea. So, which is heavy plate? So, when Eurasian plate, Indian plate collide, which one will subduct? Yes, Indian plate will subduct. It subducts. And Eurasian plate will rise up and it will form exactly it from mount himalayas no see this india no you take north india this himalayas no himalayas and i told you plates are not exact straight lines it may be like this also that's why in india also himalayas are not straight line in india himalayan is like arc no from kashmir to uttarakhand to nepal to um, uh, arunachal pradesh to nagaland you know it comes like this like an arc so plates are not straight lines okay so Himalayan mountains are example of uh, folded mountains in the convergent plate margins. On the top of Himalayas, you can see fish, crab, skulls, not living fish. So, long, long time back they were dead, it's called fossils. You can find the fossils of the sea animals. How? Himalayas are 8 kilometers higher. How did fish go there? Any idea? Because see in the actual once upon a time this is a sea a sea used to be there sea when the both place collided it raised up no well, rising up the entire sea rose up see that's why it's sedimentary rock himalaya mountain is sedimentary rock very lightweight very lightweight himalaya lightweight sedimentary so the entire sea went up enter sea also went up got compressed went up so all the sea animals are there now they also went up after few years they'll die now how can they stay on the mountain? There's no water there. So after the day, fossils can be found. Fossils. That's why marine fossils can be found on top of yes. Himalayas. The name of this sea is called Tethys Sea. Tethys. Tethys Sea. Tethys Sea was in between uh, Indian Plate and Eurasian Plate long time ago. Okay. Okay. This example. Now, let us discuss about the. Okay. One more convergent plate. Here, friends, the South American plate is moving in this direction. Pacific plate moves in this direction. Here also, North American plate this direction, Pacific plate this direction. That is why here also folded mountains are there. What is the name? Anybody? What are the folded mountains of South America? Andes. Very good. And this mountain. And this mountain. What is the here also mountains are formed here, here. What is the fold mountains of South America, North America? Appalachians are this side Appalachians. This is Appalachians. This side is Rockies. Very famous fold mountains. Very famous Rockies. Rockies in North America and this is South America. Do you know what they called as Cordillera? They called as Cordillera. What is Cordillera? Anybody? Cordillera are the group of mountains. It's just a, a, a lengthy chain of mountains. Himalayas also. Not a single mountain. Thousands of mountains are like a chain. Cordillera. Okay. So, Himalayas here, Himalayas here, Andes here, Rockies here. All these things are the folded mountains formed because of the convergent plate boundaries. Convergent. Okay. Also friends, not only here, even here also see. The actual the plate is like this. So, here also mountains will be there. Here, which country? Switzerland, France. What are the mountains there? Alps. Alps are famous mountains. Switzerland, many people go to Switzerland. Why? For Alps only. 
Alps. They are just like Himalayas only. Very famous mountains, Alps. So Alps. Here in Italy is there no Apennine, Alps. Ep all these are examples of what? Mountains and the folded mountains, folded. Okay. Now the f I, I gave you the example of the first, the convergent. Now let's go to the divergent. Divergent. Let us see the examples. Okay. <coughs> see. I told you the South American plate is moving in this direction. I told you North America is moving in this direction. Here, African plate moves in this direction. Not exact this direction, but actually it moves in this direction. See. You know, you might have studied velocity in physics in 10th class, 11th class. If, for example, this is the point, if anything is moving in this direction, it means you can take both directions. For example, I, I am moving towards that guy. That means I am covering some distance this side, some distance this side also. No? So both motions are there. So African plate is moving in this direction as well as this direction. Now, so as this direction is there, here, here, so both plates are divergent plates. So exactly in the center of Atlantic Ocean, center of Atlantic Ocean, you know, center of Atlantic Ocean here and here also, Atlantic Ocean plates are diverging. So volcanoes will come up. So there is a long chain of volcanic mountains. Long chain of volcanic mountains like this. The shape is not straight actually. The shape is, uh, yeah, for example, take Africa, Europe, South America, North America. See, the shape will be like S, not a straight line. The plate boundary is like this, S shape. It's like a S shape actually, okay. So this is a group of volcanic mountains. But those mountains you cannot see up. Why? Because they are? No. Under the ocean. Himalayas are able to see. Why? Because Himalayas are on the land. See, here also some mountains are 5 kilometers high, 6 kilometers high, but you cannot see. Because water is there now. They are under the sea. So, this is called Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Actually, ridge is nothing but, ridge is nothing but mountain, group of mountains. Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Because the ridge is exactly in the center of Atlantic Ocean. Mid Atlantic Ridge. So, this example of divergent plate boundary, divergent. <coughs> Actually, there is a, you see California here, California. California will be here. California is an example of, California again a small plate. California moves like this, the North America moves like this. So, that is an example of transfer plate. Transfers you can see in the California, near California. Okay. There, because of that movement, a famous fault was there called San Andreas Fault. A movie is there on that. San Andreas Fault is the name of a movie. San Andreas. San Andreas Fault is a famous fault of California, along the California. That's why California is away from uh, North America. Cali if this is North America, California will be away from North America. Okay? Like that, friends, here are the examples of some of the plate margins. Actually, this plate tectonic theory came into light only in 1960. Only in 1960, this theory proposed. It's proposed by a group of scientists, not a single scientist. Group of scientists. One of them is Mackenzie. Mackenzie, many are there. Okay. Before 1960, people have an idea that yes, something is moving. But they used to think that continents are moving. What is a continent? Continent is only top 10 kilometers. Continent, ocean, they are 10 kilometers only, 5 6 kilometers. Plate is 200 kilometers. Previously, before 1960, people used to think that Africa is going away, Australia is coming. They feel that continents are moving on the ocean. So, this ocean, no, it's all ocean, no. Australia is moving on the ocean, North America moving on the ocean. Like that, they used to think land is moving on the ocean. But that's not true. Land and ocean are just surface things. So, only from 1966, 1965, 64, plate tectonic theory came into the picture. Now, using this theory, they have proved several doubts. Before that, a lot of doubts are there. Why Himalayas are forming? Why how, how Himalayas formed? How Pacific Ocean formed? Why Pacific Ocean is increasing in length or decreasing in length? Why Atlantic Ocean is increasing in length? Many doubts are there. Why in India, Deccan Plateau is there? India has Deccan Plateau. Why? If you dig into India, after going to some depth inside India, dig. 
you will find some kind of fossils what is a fossil what is a fossil you only what is a fossil fossil means remains of the dead for example after an elephant dies or 10000 years also that dinosaur is there even today you can find dinosaur fossils dinosaur bones teeth fossils like that in india if you dig into india go in depth you are finding fossils of polar animals polar flora for example there is a famous name scientific name of one kind of plant is there that plant is found only in the polar areas that plant is found only where earth is covered with ice now you can find only in uh, antarctica or arctic sea arctic uh, land ice land but it was found in india it is there in india sometime back so all these doubts are there why is that uh, there in india why deccan plateau is there how himalayas formed why climate is changing why atlantic ocean is increasing why pacific ocean decreasing all these doubts are cleared after 1960 by using the plate tectonic theory okay <coughs> okay I'll, I'll remember the name while taking the class okay now friends what is the proof what is the proof of the plate tectonic theory see any theory will be validated any theory will be accepted only when there is a proof so let us see the proof the first proof is sea floor spreading the first proof is sea floor spreading that means if you take atlantic ocean atlantic ocean the sea floor floor means under the water for example let us say this is a sea floor atlantic ocean floor of the atlantic ocean is a water let us say entire atlantic ocean the floor is only 10000 square kilometers roughly i am telling you but every year it is increasing 10000 to 11000 12000 30 is increasing sea floor is increasing sea floor is spreading why because the african plate is moving in this direction south american plate is in this direction so the atlantic ocean atlantic ocean here is increasing in size that means this is one plate this direction moving another plate see this is a south american plate this is a african plate when they both are moving away in between magma is coming up and i told you no when this plate is moving away when this plate is moving away the magma will come up and do you know how it happens actually initially only some small gap will come immediately magma will attach here and attach here let's say call it as a call it as a a magma out of years till it goes away then what happens you know already a magma is there here a magma is there now new magma will come it's called as b magma here b magma here you understand again after few years again plates will move away again magma will come i am saying a b c because of time period initially a magma comes after several years again b magma after several years again c so why i am saying a b c because type of magma will change with period of time same chemical the magma of same chemical composition will not come every time the chemical composition changes okay that is a proof that is called the proof of paleomagnetism paleo friends paleo actually this is a magnetic material anything coming inside the earth has magnetism i'll tell you why that magnetism is there see was not done tell you i'll tell you why i call it as a b and c one reason is there see when the magma comes up no in that magma some iron content will be there iron content do you know earth is a magnet you know that earth is a magnet because of crust or mantle or core core because core has a magnetic property nifa nickel iron magnetic property do you know earth's magnetic field is not constant it keeps on changing for example today let us say this is the geographical north pole geography geographical south pole but the magnetic dipole you know magnetic dipole magnet is a dipole magnet has uh, two poles today this is a 
magnet type. This is the north north pole of magnetism, south pole. After few years, this will be the magnetic pole. Uh, understand? Because the core is moving, liquid core is there. No, it's moving. So the magnetism of the earth is not the same. If you want to take earth as a magnet, that magnet is not constant, it is changing. So, for example, you take any iron, uh, for example, let us say magma came here, A magma came here. When the magma is coming out of the earth, liquid magma, inside the magma some iron will be there, no? That iron will orient itself in direction of earth's magnetism at that time. After few years, when B magma is coming, you know, B magma, in that B magma, iron will orient in? At that time direction. That's why I'm calling ABC magma. Means ABC magma means, depending on which time the magma is coming. A magma came 20 million years ago. B magma came 10 million years ago. C magma came recently only 5 million years ago. Okay? So when the magma comes, the magnetic orientation of the magma will be similar to the earth's magnetic dipole at that time so in a magma in a magma this is the direction of the earth in b magma this is the direction c magma like that so this concept is called paleomagnetism based on the paleomagnetism we can tell that plates are diverging prove no based on the second one sea flow spreading as the At Atlantic, sorry, Antarctic, Atlantic, as the Atlantic Ocean is increasing in size, it is increasing actually. Atlantic Ocean, if you see after 20 years, size is slightly more. Because geographers are measuring it, every year it is increasing by almost 30, 40 centimeters. Okay? Or maybe 6 centimeters, I don't remember the number, 6 centimeters, Atlantic Ocean. So that is called sea floor spreading. That is a proof. First, I am, I am telling you what is the proof for plate tectonic theory. What is the proof? One is Sea floor spreading, other is paleomagnetism. Enough, these are the proofs. Next question is some people ask this question. Okay, plates are moving, but who is moving the plates? What is the force that is moving the plates? For that, many theories came, but the mostly widely accepted theory is proposed by A. Holmes. A. Holmes, he said that plates are moving because of convective currents. Plates are moving because of convective currents occurring in the isthenosphere. Isthenosphere. Convective currents, you understand? Convective currents, okay? <coughs> so, friends, that is about the plate tectonic theory. Now, let me tell you about the Atlantic Ocean, Pacific Ocean. I'll tell you, see. Oh, well, I'm looking for dust action. Okay, see. Friends, exactly 400, no. Exactly 700 million years ago, Africa, and South America, and South America, they are together. Similarly, the Europe and North America is together. There is no gap. There is no Atlantic Ocean. 700 million years ago, animals used to roam here. Same animals were there, both the continents. 500 million years ago, they started separating. 300 million years ago, again they started closing. They closed. 200 million years ago, again started opening. Now still continuing. Now will be continuing. Now all satellite question is opening only. It will increase. After few years again, it starts closing. So there are proofs for proofs for there. What are the proofs? Whatever fossils are there today. Today in South America, Africa, whatever rock is there, a rock, type of rock, same type of rock is there here. Whatever fossils are there, fossils, same fossils are here. For example, here in Ghana, in Africa, there is a country called Ghana, you may know, you know, Ghana in Africa. Ghana is famous for the gold. So the gold mines are there, but see, actually gold ore will come from one kind of rocks. The gold ore is there in Ghana and those rocks are there in uh, Brazil. That means, once upon a time, they are together. Understand? There is a proof. Now separating. So now it is increasing. When Atlantic Ocean is increasing, obviously, Pacific Ocean has to decrease now. Overall, earth, see, entire Earth cannot expand now. For, for example, Atlantic Ocean is increasing, Pacific Ocean is decreased. Because this land is going like this now. Africa is going like this. Uh, so it is decreasing. Okay? So now, 
So these are the various proofs for the Newton theory. <coughs> now friends, coming to the plate margins, there are different types of plate margins. Ocean, ocean margin, ocean margin, ocean margin, land margin, land margin, land margin, ocean margin. For example, uh, South America, see, South America, land, this is land, this is ocean. The place where and is mountains, and is mountains. Why? Because of convergent of the ocean margin with land margin. Whereas here in India, India and Eurasia, there land margin and land margin. Whereas here, see here, diverging, ocean margin with ocean margin. So, like it also, some people actually discuss about that one also. Land, land margin, ocean, ocean margin, land, ocean margin. That if, if you have to go deep into that, it comes under geology. In geology, we'll discuss about ocean ocean margin, how, how it is different from land ocean margin, we'll discuss. But general studies, geography general studies, we discuss only about the convergent, divergent, and transverse. We will stop it there. We will not discuss about ocean ocean, land ocean, we will not discuss. I'm just telling you for an idea, that's all. Okay. Now, friends, let us go to volcanoes now, volcanoes. Before going to volcanoes, I want to tell you about the movement of India. How India moved from South Pole to North, South Pole to Equator. See, India, you take Earth. Yes, Glossiptera, the name of the flora, no? the kind of plants found there is called Glossiptera. I told you, I remember it. Glossiptera flora. Glossiptera is one kind of small um, uh, plant, one kind of grass. If today if you go to Antarctica, you will find Glossiptera. Arctic also you find Glossiptera. Glossiptera will grow only in climate of less than 0 degrees. In India, Glossiptera was there. Today also, friend, do you know what is the meaning of digging? Digging means what? See, if you dig, dig for some distance, you will find Mughal, Mughal remains. If you still dig, Gupta remains. If you still dig, dinosaur will be there. If you still dig, understand? While, when you dig into the earth, no, you will find, you will go back in history. That's why excavations happen, no? In excavation, as you go deeper, you go back in history. So, geography and history can be, history is horizontal. Geography is vertical. They both can be combined, actually, okay? Anyhow, so when you dig deep, almost 500 million years ago, Dig till, till the depth. Not only digging till the Gupta time or Buddha time, till 500 million years ago, you find Glossiptera. And also, you find ice also. Ice is there, some ice which is trapped in the rock, some ice, which clearly shows that India once upon a time was in the South Pole. Friends, India was here some time ago. And the Indi India played, Australia is here, Australia. After uh, uh, New Zealand is here, Madagascar is here. Mauritius here, they are all combined now actually. Actually India, Africa, everything is combined on separate time. They got separated later on. Later on, okay. So, actually friends, did I discuss about, for on separate time, in the earth, entire land is single piece called Pangaea. Anybody knows this? Yes. Once upon a time, all the land, North America, South America, Africa, the land, entire land is together, single piece called as Pangaea. And entire ocean is together, called as Pantalasa. Gradually, the land started breaking. Breaking. When it broke, initially it broke into two parts. Initially it broke into two parts. This part went this side, this part went this side. Upper part is called as? Very good, Laurasia. Laurasia, some people call it Angara land. Some people call it as? This part is called as? Very good, Gondwana. India is a part of? Gondwana. They started moving away. 
After moving away, again they started moving together. So, in this Gondwana land, you have Africa, South America, India, Australia, all together Gondwana land. The entire Gondwana land came to the South Pole. She came here. That's why I'm trying to show entire Gondwana land. Again, they started breaking into pieces. So, the Indian plate started going here. This is 700 million years ago. This is 500 million years ago. India came here 300 million years ago. India came here. There you go. India came here 65 million years ago. Only 65 million years ago, India came in the present place. That is when Himalaya started forming. Himalaya started forming only 65 million years ago. If you go back 60 minutes ago, go back in time and see Himalayas are this much only. Slowly starting. Slowly rising, rising, rising. And now they are 8 kilometers high. They will still grow. Okay. Dinosaurs, dinosaurs, dinosaurs were there 250 million years ago. So when dinosaurs were there, Himalayas were there? Not there. Himalayas formed recent 60 minutes ago only. Dinosaurs were there during the Triassic era, Jurassic era, I will tell you the era, era in some other class. Gondwana era, Triassic era, Jurassic era, I will tell you. But dinosaurs were there 200 million years ago. When dinosaurs were there, most of the lands are combined. Dinosaurs used to go from Africa to South America, they used to walk. Land is together. Okay? So, anyhow. So, now friends, when India was here, no, almost some, maybe some time ago, when India was here, in this place, there was a hot spot. Do you know what is a hot spot? Hot spot is a place inside the earth from where always volcanoes come out. Hot spots or earthquakes occur. Hot spots. Generally, hot spots will be there on the plate margins, but sometimes inside a plate also hot spot will be there. For example, this is India, this is Australia, and this is a plate. In the, inside the plate also hot spot will be there. Hot spots. So when India is traveling from here to here, India is moving. Today, India is above equator. Once upon a time, India is on the equator. Before that, South Pole. When India was here, the ice in the very cold climate, which, which formed? Glossy terra grass. That is still there. I mean, the, the fossil is there, fossil. <coughs> Friends, do you know horse? Which you have seen today, horse. How much high horse is? This much high. Horse is flat. Horse face is lengthy. But if you go back to 250 million years ago, this horse is much only horse. Just like human beings. Human beings, 250 million years ago, are not there. We are apes. From the ape, human beings evolved. From the ape. Like the horse evolved from a small pig donkey kind of thing. Small uh, dog, pig dog. From there, slowly horse became a horse. That's why 250 million years ago, fossils, dinosaur fossils. During dinosaur fossils, horse was not there. One different animal was Elephant was not there. Elephant's trunk was only this much only. Elephant is very short. Giraffe, neck is this much only. So in the evolution, everything changed. Okay. So anyhow, <coughs> so at the, when India was here at that time, the magma came out, volcano came out. That volcano spread to the Maharashtra, Karnataka, Telangana, this area, Deccan Plateau today, the black soil, black soil. It formed at that time. By the time India came here, it cooled. It cooled and it became uh, like a soil. 